Hello everybody, this is Cheeseburger Jesus, and welcome back to Katama Shoujo Natsumi. I'm not going to butcher that last name like I did last time. This is in editing Cheeseburger Jesus, and I would like to go ahead and apologize. This video was meant for yesterday, but some issues got in the way, and which my editing software decided to crash. Not render the video overnight, so I couldn't upload it. Then it crashed again. So, I uninstalled the software, reinstalled it, and it appears not to be crashing. Well, I mean, obviously, because you're actually seeing the video. Uh, again, apologies, it was, was supposed to be yesterday, but anyways, back to your regularly scheduled program. And as you can see, it fits the screen just as well as the Fujoku literature club. Why can I not get one of them to fit OBS? I just... Oh well. This one is actually, at least, <laughs> actually almost fitting to the screen, unlike some games like Tying Threads. Ah, uh, it doesn't detect uh, used to, what it used to be, that's about. Anyways, this is the fan game that I've played. You know, I'm gonna actually look it up. Five months ago. That's a really long time, but anyways. Uh, this is an updated version. And there is the music. Do do do. Okay, not making the same mistake as the last game I played where the music was louder than I was. So I'm setting that back down low. This is based off of the visual novel Katawa Shoujo. Most images and music come from Kitao Shoujo. If you haven't read, now is a good time to do so. It's a great story. Time to start this story. Alright, so we're back in the hospital again. This is how it started out last time, if I remember correctly. It was a different hospital room though. And I'm gonna have to point out when to... Why is it every time I get on a game, I automatically like... I check, I look at the background, and the first thing I see is computer. If it has a computer, it's the first thing I see. I, I kid you not. The first thing I see. I had to turn down because it was still loud. Doctor, what's wrong with her? I can't believe I let this happen. I did nothing to help her. I just stood there and did nothing. Your daughter, Yu, or Yui, has suffered from a serious heart attack. She will have to stay here for a few months. Will she be okay? She will heal over time, but for now, we need to do operations on her heart. The memory plays in my mind over and over. We were just walking in the park near our home. It was a beautiful day too, but it turned for the worse. She just fell to her knees, not a word, and I did nothing. Oh, she could have helped her more. Your sister will be okay, Naoki. You did everything you can. No, I could have done more. I could have done a lot more. I feel the tears running down my cheeks. It's okay, Naoki. She's fine. She's alive. One takes my hands in her, her own. Come on, let's go home. We will see you tomorrow. Okay, let me say goodbye. Three months later. It's been three months since she had her heart attack. The doctors have been talking about her moving to a new school, and she agreed to this. The school is in Upper Japan, and it's not that far from our hometown, too. The school is called Yamaku Academy. It's cool for the disabled. I'm going there, too. How old are you, Naoki? I'm 18. This will be my last year at school. I can help you go while I'm there. So to say, the name changed in the beginning, which is weird. Let him go with his sister. School year just started a month ago. I'll allow this to happen. You and the name's back. We'll be going to Yamaku Academy in a few weeks, so be ready for it. I'm letting go of my old life just for my sister. I don't know if it was the right thing to do or not. What is done is done, I guess. This is goodbye. Da -da -na.
I just love the soundtrack. Anyways, the metal gate leaves a great first impression. I opened the gate for Yui and she thanks, thanked me. There's a nice stone path leading to what I can assume is the main building. The school is already looking nice. The trees are perfectly placed and the grass was recently cut. Mom said that she unpacked her stuff into our dorm rooms so we wouldn't have to worry about that. She also said that there will be a teacher meeting us in the main building. I really hope that's the truth. We reach the main building. As we enter, the scenery completely changes. It's a whole different place. A man looks up from a paper and starts to walk towards us. You must be Yui and Naoko. Yes, we are. And you are? I am Akeo Moto. I will be your homeroom and science teacher. Let's head to, cl to the classroom. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Before I can say anything, Yui already said yes, so we started to walk our merry way. He leads us up some stairs to the third floor. And this is already past where the original preview was, so let's see how far this goes. Moto continues to lead us down a hallway. A few paintings are hung up. And they look handmade, possibly some art club. He stops at the door at a door labeled Class 33. I can hear people talking from out here. He slowly opens the door and the chatting stops in an instant. Plus, these are our two new students that I told you about. I will let them introduce themselves. Hi everyone, I'm Yu. I'm 17 years old. I love to read books and I hope that I will make good friends with everyone here. This is my brother Naoki. Oh, uh, hello everyone. I'm Naoki. I love to play games on my free time and I hope to befriend all of you. Take a quick second to look at everyone. Most of them have a disability of some kind, but one of them stands out. She's sitting in the back of a cla the classroom. She has long brown hair, wears a pair of glasses too. One of her eyes are green and the other are brown. I guess she caught me looking at her. She waves at me, smiles, and I give a small smile back. You two may take a seat now. I'll take a seat in an empty spot. <laughs> oh, here's, here's Misha. So you the new kid? Didn't know you would be coming so soon. You've gotten a lot of new people lately. Yeah, it's hard to believe that you have a lot of new people here. By the way, what's your name? Oh yeah, that's right. My name is Misha. I'm part of the student council. I extend my hand out and she gladly shakes it with a lot of extra energy. Nice to meet you, Misha. I have a question for you, if you don't mind, but how is it like being in the student council? As I finish, I can see that she is very happy and excited that I brought that up. There is definitely a spark in her eyes. It's very fun. We really don't have much work most of the time, so we just play games. You should join the council. You'd be a perfect fit. I've only been here five seconds, said like, Ten words, and she's like, that's how desperate they are. You're a perfect fit, you just got here. <laughs> you can't say no. Just got to the school and just met her, but she's already trying to get me to join the student council. I wonder if she's like this to everyone. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> Slow down there, I haven't even been here for an hour, let alone got to see what other things I could do besides the student council. Well, there are a lot of clubs and activities to do here, like track and field, literature club, photography club, the art club, and the newspaper club. The Nuez Paper Club. <laughs> have all, <laughs> I'm sorry. Have always been interested in the newspaper club at my past school. Wouldn't mind joining it. <laughs> if I was to join a club, it would have to be the newspaper club. Even before I could finish the sentence, Mish, Mish gives me the old trick of puppy eyes. But I want you to join the student council. I resist the puppy eyes. <laughs> the good senior quote, I resist the puppy eyes. Sorry, but I've made up my mind. She looks away and continues to pout. Pretty cute face when she does that. The class starts and everyone starts to work. Mutsu, or, yeah, Mutsu finishes his lesson and motions everyone to start getting ready to leave today. Alright class, all of you know that the school festival is coming up in a month. You all now may think of what to do for the festival this year. Let it be fun and something new. A 
A school festival, huh? Sounds nice. This will be a good time to make friends. You will sure love it. I really wish our school had bells like that instead of just a big buzzer. But the bell rings and everyone rushes out of the classroom. I finished packing up and was about to leave until Muzu calls me over. Yeah? I know it's your first day, but the festival is coming up, like I said. I hate to ask you, but you need to join a club right away. Is there anything you like or interest you? I've always had an interest in the newspaper. Good luck! So it was a newspaper club. That will do then, right? Yeah, it would. He shuffles some papers on his desk and proceeds to talk again. He's not happy about this conversation. Let's talk to the president of the club. Her name is Natsumi. I'm still not going to butcher that name. I... No, I'm not even going to try it. Her name is Natsumi. The newspaper club is down on the first floor. Okay, thanks. He nods his head, and with that, I leave his classroom. I get downstairs to meet you. Yui, I keep saying you, Yui, at the front doors of the school. She was there when I reached the doors. So how was your day? It was fine. Festival was coming up too, so that's nice. Yeah, I heard that. We head out of the school building and start walking to the dorms on the other side of the school grounds. So I'm going to join the literature club. Have fun with that. Yeah, you can join the literature club. I'm going to let you have a nice... Good old time with the literature club. Oh god, no, please no. Not again. Not again. Not again. <laughs> I knew you would. You always loved writing little stories. I'm going to join the newspaper club. I would have never guessed. After the short walk, we reach the dorms. I say my goodbyes, and so does she. I watch her head into the female dorm rooms, and then head into the male dorms. I head to the third floor and start trying to find the right room number. <laughs> oh no, not Kenji again, dang nabbit. Thought I got rid of you. <sighs> I find my room, and next to the floor... Next to the floor? Okay. And next to the door is two guys talking to each other. Something about girls. One of them spots me and gives me a friendly wave. He must be the person that has moved into the room across from mine. Uh, yeah, that's me. Well then, in that case, my name is Sal. Sal, who are you talking to? Oh. And this... Boy's Kenji. I'm gonna... Gonna, I'm gonna ignore them like I have been doing from now on. He lives to the to, uh, he lives to the room left of me. Well, it's nice to meet you both. Now we have three people. We can be a team now. Better not. Get, you better get going before he starts rambling. Take his house advice and head into my room. I close the door and behind me to silence the conversation between Hisao and Kenji. It didn't work. I look around what will be my new home for a year. Just a normal room like any other room in a house. I unpack everything that I had brought in from moving. I got some new clothes and decided to take a shower. After that nice shower, I crash into bed and pass out immediately. Time pass. I finally had time to go look for the newspaper club room. It's dead quiet in the halls. It's re really nice, surprisingly. At the end of the hallway, there is a room that is cracked open, and I am hoping that there will be the club, or that will be the club room. I get to the door and open it. A loud creaking noise comes from the door and opens. Hmm? Is that Hanukkah? Sunlight hits me right in the face when I open the door. Oh, hey man, what's up? Hey, Sal, I was just looking for the newspaper club room. Well, you got the wrong place, buddy. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? I was too busy talking to Sal, but I never noticed the girl that was with him. She is very tall and has long blonde hair. I gotta say, she's very pretty. Yes, please. You all get up to make me a cup of tea. Come take a seat. Take a seat at the table by the window. The funny thing is that I never caught your name last time we met. Oh yeah, you didn't, huh? Well, it's Naoki. Naoki. Nice to meet you, Naoki. Okay, I like how he just straight up is like, Yes, please. I'll take the tea. It's been a long life. I need my tea. 
The girl comes back with a steamy cup of tea. She slowly places it down and takes a seat across from the south. My name is Lily. Nice to meet you too. I pick up the cup of tea and bring it to my mouth and I take a sip. Some great tea. Thank you, Naoki. I made it myself. Still, I'm still amazed that you can prepare tea even though you can't see it early. Mm. Do I just need to get a jump off of the bridge? Well, that's what the walking cane Lily has beside her is for. Very easy, surprisingly. Just took some practice and then I had it down. Pretty amazing. I finished all the tea that was in my cup. The second cup of that wouldn't be too bad if I say so. Okay, so I have plural questions. The big one that's now in my mind is what route is this out going on? So. Do you know where Hanako is? She's at the library reading. I passed by her today and she said she wanted to finish her book. I wish Hanako was here so you two could meet Naoki. It's fine. Maybe some other time we can meet. I'd love to join you all for some tea again. Yes, some other time then. And with that, we all continue to talk and drink our tea. Okay, that's the end of the game. Our end of the demo. This was rather nice, a lot more polished than last time, and you know, it actually went through pretty much a full day. So, I'm really, I really like this. Better than, better than anything I could throw together in five months. Granted, this guy actually knows the engine at least a little bit more than I do. I mean, I can, I can, uh, I can make a start menu. But anyways, there's that's all for now. This is Cheeseburger Jesus signing out. Bye bye.